So this drawing here is for unit standard 25705. We've got a pipe here, different size pipes. This, this pipe going in is going in at a 60 degree angle. It has a diameter of 100 millimeters OD and it's going into a cylinder that's 200 millimeters OD. I'm going to change the dimensions just for this drawing for my own sake. You need to follow what they are saying. So they're saying that it's being made out of a piece of 5mm galvanised plate. Well, they don't make 5mm galvanised plate. It would be um, fabricated in 5mm steel. And then it would be galvanised after. So pretty hard job to make a pipe of that size in 5mm, but not insurmountable, can be done. So you would work to the mean diameter, you would take your material thickness of 5mm away from the 100mm. So you would work to a mean diameter when you draw the interpenetration of the pipe at 60 degrees at 95mm. I will still keep my leg, uh, leg length up the back face of 200mm, I'm just going to change it to 55 I'm going to change the top to 120 but I will keep the main body at 200mm. So on to the next sheet. I've got two boxes here, exactly 421 by 297 which is an A3 sheet of paper. That's what you're going to be doing it on. I think this one needs to be done at one to one. Some of the other ones you're going to do are at different scales, but this one's going to be one to one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come up from the base of the sheet 10 millimeters. So I'm just going to offset it up 10 mil, and I'll offset in 10. From there, because I'm doing it at 120 millimeters diameter, the cylinder being 100, uh, sorry, 200 mil, I need to offset from the end 100 millimeters. And then I'm going to offset along another 200 mil. And because the pipe is 200 millimeters, I'm going to offset up 100 millimeters as well. So that's what my pipe is going to be. I need to draw a circle on the end. And I want to trim that out. I want that line and that line. So get rid of that and get rid of that. And we're going to trim this off at this point here. And we'll trim it off on that end. This line on the bottom here, centre line, because it's the centre line of the pipe. I'm only drawing a half elevation of the actual base pipe, which is 200 mils. So from there, uh, I'm going to come along, uh, say, 50 mil, And that's going to be my start position. And then I want an angle of 55 degrees, so I'm going to put in a line here. Where's my line function? From there, I'm going to tell it that I want it 200 millimeters long at 55 degrees. So there's my line. I'm telling you that it's 120 millimeters wide, so I'm going to offset 120. And I'm going to extend that line down to the base just fits onto the length that I've drawn and it's going to be 200 millimeters up this back face here so I need to put in another line shift from that point there up here 200 millimeters will I push uh, 55 200 and then it will cut back down this way uh, we'll do a perpendicular to it, there we go, there's our pipe, and I need to trim some lines off here, uh, trim these, this line off here, why isn't that one showing, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend it along another 50mm to there, Extend line, get rid of that line there, put a centre line through there, 60mm, so offset the centre line, extend it down to the baseline. Top of that I need to draw a semicircle. I'm probably going to go off the sheet, slightly off the sheet. Your one won't go off the sheet, I've already tried it because you're going to be at the correct size, which was the 100 millimeters OD minus the material thickness. So your dimension across this face here would be 95 millimeters. I'm just doing this slightly bigger. I don't want to give you everything uh, exactly how it should be done. So because this here is a radius of 60 millimeters, radius over here at 60 mil, we need to draw a circle in at this point here of 60. 
and I'm going to extend that line up to there I'm going to trim all that out from that point to that point get rid of that get rid of that and that and then we need to break this into three equal spaces you will just do this with your dividers uh, I have to do it with circles on here I just find it easier so there's one there's another and I'm going to trim the excess material out that I don't want you'll see me doing this numerous times and I'm going to get rid of those small little circles so I've broken this arc here into three equal spaces and then what I need to do is extend those points vertically down So this is a view, an end view of how far the pipe, the penetrating pipe, the 120 would come in and hit this point here, hit this um, 100 mil radius here. So once I've got those points, I project them horizontally along. And next one. Now they're projection lines. I'll put them all in as projection lines. So that's those. I'm going to take those little wee arcs out. You don't need any more. You, you'll just have a small little line there and that's fine. I'm just going to get rid of those ones. Um, and I'm going to do it. I'm just going to break this line here. Being a bit pedantic, but that's okay. And that line there is a projection line as well. This one up the top here is also going. This circle up the top will also be a projection line. So we need to break our top circle into equal spaces as well this was a quarter circle we broke it into three this being a semicircle, we're going to break it into six equal spaces so the first thing we'll do is we'll project our center line up to the top and then i have to draw my circles in here like i did before one coming from either side you'll just use your dividers quite simply compass on uh, paper or dividers on a piece of steel if you're drawing it on steel so that's got to be five And I'm going to trim out those big circles. Just getting rid of all of those. And take out little circles to leave what you would have on the sheet, which is little little arcs across the, the sheet. And then what I want to do is I want to draw lines from there back down. So I just need to set up a new angle on the polar tracking. New angle here, 235 degrees. Accept that. So drawing my lines back down, coming down here at uh, 235. I'm just going to lay them in slightly longer and I will trim them out. So 235. Picking up these ones up the top here. And the next one. So what I've done, projected these back down, turned them into projection lines. For you, you'd probably draw it at, say, a 4H pencil or something like that. So this first line, uh, what I need to do is pick up my intersection point. So this one coming across here lines up, we get an intersection point here. So that's where that's going to be. I'm going to go and uh, letter them all or number them so that we know that what we're looking at. So I've gone and numbered everything. The throat line, this one coming up the side here, I've made a zero round to the back edge the heel is number six uh, the joint line will put it down through the center so I'm going to put it on this line down through here make it a bit longer that's where our joint is going to be and what I've done is I've numbered the end view so the whole thing that we're looking at here is a side elevation or front elevation depending on what you want to call it so we'll call it a front elevation and this, in actual fact, this portion here is like looking into the end of it. So this is the end elevation. Uh, how far the cylinder actually actually wraps around on this line around here to this, this point three coming down here. So it's just a matter of um, creating our joint line. We had to determine our joint line before we could start to develop the pattern. 
So with line coming down, uh, one coming down, and line one going across, this being one coming across here, this is our intersection point. For line two, it would be this line, and line two here coming across, that would be our next intersection point. So I'm just going to use the spline function. You would just sketch through here with a pencil, and I'm just going to pick up my joint line through here. So that's our joint line. I can trim off what I don't need from there. I made these other lines a wee bit longer. They can be trimmed out. And on the back face we wouldn't see those lines anyway. So that's what the actual joint line, oh, and of course the, the distance between here and here. We can see the pipe, so we re remove that as well. That line's gone. So our effect of joint lines, uh, or the, the pipe, we can see the pipe there, in this case it's 120 diameter, but you would be the 100 millimeters OD minus a material thickness, which would give you 95. And there's our joint line, so that's what we had to determine for a start to actually uh, be able to develop the pattern. Now generally we roll, our, we project off this face perpendicular up through here. Because it's at one to one it won't fit on the sheet, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come down from the top of the sheet this time, offset 20 mil and from there I will put a midpoint line in, I will put a line in uh, from the midpoint there it is, just come down here a bit so my rollout length is 120 millimeters times pi, so 120 times pi. Remember that Competence wants you to use 3.14 for pi, so 3.14. My rollout length is 376.8 millimeters, and if I divide that by 2, it's 188.4 millimeters. So I'm going to offset either side of that line, 188.4. either way and then I was trying to trim it so from there to there is my rollout length and so what I want to do is I want to break this line into my 12 divisions so if I take my 376.8 millimeters and divide that by 12 positions I get a radius of 31.4 so for me I'm going to step across here at 31.4 put all these circles in you will just put a small arc across this line so they all hit exactly on that and I'm going to just draw lines down from those uh, in fact I'll go all the way to the bottom of the sheet I don't need to so I've drawn all my lines in there, I can get rid of these circles now, I don't need them. So I've broken my line into 12 uh, equal spaces, I'm now going to number the line based on uh, the start position being 3, so I'll be at 3 on one end and 3 at the other, and this centre line will be number 3 as well. So I'm just going to lay that out, and I put the numbers in. So I've stepped my numbers off there, gone for 3, 4, 5, 6 on this end, back down to 3, down to 0 and to 3 on the other end. So what I want to do to lay my pattern in is I want to just take these links here and I'm going to do a distance measurement. You can set this up on your uh, compass. So for me, line 0 from the top to the joint line is 115.98. I'm going to do an offset. What did I say it was? 115.98. So doing an offset of 115.98. That is going to be for line 0. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little circle there. 5 mil again. And then I will trim that out. And I'll get rid of that circle. So for line uh, 1, distance for it is 127.23 so an offset of 127.23 and this is going to be for line one so a little circle again five mil and trim that out 
Where's my trim function? Get rid of that. Next one being line number two, distance for it. 154.76 so an offset of 154.76 so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and put all these lines in you can take the distances off the drawing and step them down from the top line So you'll take your whatever the leg length is, this distance here for number three, you will take that from that line and project it down and you'll get a point. So I've gone and marked in all my lengths which I've taken off the drawing on the left hand side here and all I've got to do is put a joint line across the top of them. So just going from one end to the next all the way across. and that is our completed line so these lines through the middle here are projection lines so our joint line was on the side and that's that line there is the same length as these two on the ends here and having rolled it out that's how we come to our pattern so this dimension up here I had this circle here at 60 millimeters you would be half of 95 so 40 47 and a half millimeters uh, that would be your circle across there and that would be the same for that radius there at 47 and a half your large pipe because you're going on to the outside dimension of the pipe the pipe diameter if we go back to it was 200 millimeters 200 millimeters OD on the end and you're going to be developing the pipe so it sits on the top of it you don't want to be work, uh, developing it to the mean line of that pipe. You will only have the mean line across the end there. So that's why I have drawn the pipe. This one here is 100 mils. So that's what you're going to do as well. So draw them on two sheets of paper at a scale of 1 to 1. And that is a pipe um, junction. I did mine slightly different just to make you think about what you're trying to do my angle in here was 55 degrees yours needs to be 60 so there you go that's it